celebration. This year, Rubik's Cube turns 50. Full disclosure, I've never finished a Rubik's Cube, but if you're like me, maybe this will make you feel a little better. The guy who created it, well, 50 years ago, it took him about a month. Of course, these days, speed cubers are solving it in mere seconds. So is it a toy, a sport? Well, whatever you call it, it still has our head spinning. Twiddling, twisting, turning. If a rainbow took the form of a cube, this is what you get. Once you get your hands on Rubik's Cube, you may never be able to put it down. Erno Rubik, a professor from Hungary, conceived the cube that bears his name in 1974, designed as a teaching aid for his students, but by the early 80s had twirled into cube mania. Hugely popular, selling in the millions, and if you let it, it'll drive you crazy. Erno called it a joint venture of the hands and minds, speaking with Chanel in 2020. What did that feel like for you to see people who love it so much? It's a good feeling. It's a heart, warming feeling. A feeling that's timeless, making half a dozen cameos in The Simpsons and appearing as a dusty remnant in the movie Wall-E. But these days, the spiral is viral with TikTok tutorials welcoming a new generation. Justin Bieber famously solved it in a couple minutes during carpool karaoke. No! Though some called speed cubers do it much faster, including Max Park. Just watch. Yes! As he sets the new world record, 3.13 seconds. 40 years ago, it was 22.95 seconds. I can do it in under a minute. Professor Lauren Rose teaches math at Bard College in New York. Like Rubik, she uses the cube and its 43 quintillion permutations as a teaching tool. Why do you love Rubik's Cube so much? I can get students who hate math to learn how to solve the cube, and then I can say, you know, you just did math. It is thought that one in seven people on Earth have played Rubik's Cube, a three-by-three three grid icon that, like the colors on a freshly solved puzzle, brings us together. Rubik's Cube is now owned by the company Spin Master, which says millions of units are sold every year, with sales actually going up year over year these days. As for the creator, Erno, well, he'll turn 80 later this month and remains very proud of his invention. That's going to do it for this hour of morning news now, but stay with us. The news continues 